Hello, welcome to Tenfoil Hat News. I just want to say good morning and hello to Tenfoil Oilers. This video is not for kids. And, uh, you know, honestly, take a grain of salt. And when I say that, I mean, you're an adult. You make the right decisions. Anyway, uh, there's been a lot of pushback lately about people not taking the vaccine. Um, I'm neither for, I'm not really for the vaccine. Uh, I'm all about our vaccinations except for the vaccine for COVID. Not saying that it's wrong, but if you're not gonna take the vaccine, please wear a mask. I do it. And definitely keep your hands clean and take um, vitamin D3 with tonic water, which has quinine. Um, as for this, uh, the issue with the vaccine, the biggest issue coming from the medical community uh, about the vaccine has to do with the fact that it does not meet the standard protocols for the FDA approval. Now, everyone's going to say, oh, you're being, no, just let's hear and be realistic. A lot of medical people are kind of taking a step back. Myocarditis is a very uh, big issue. Uh, big incidences that have occurred, why there's a lot of stigma is that we've had medical personnel who, or I should say hospitals, falsify information about how people died uh, saying that it was COVID related. For example, a guy in Colorado died of a gunshot wound. However, he's, they said that he died due to COVID complications. These are the things that are creating a very big problem. We live in a world where people can actually check the facts for themselves and people do not trust the media as a whole. Um, I don't know how this, I don't know why uh, news and all that. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you got to believe this or that. No, no, no. What I'm going to say is you're a grown adult. You're going to be making a decision. But if you make a decision, make a well-informed decision. The COVID vaccine is not for everybody. Uh, if you want to take it, go for it. Those who are not taking it, please don't judge them right off the bat. Some of us aren't wackos. Some people actually haul, carry doctorates. And our biggest concern uh, and the thing that's not getting addressed, and trust me, this is no representation of anything that I'm going, this is just an opinion of mine, but this is from what I hear from other people who have talked about is A, the shelf life with the COVID vaccine, B, the situation where you have uh, medical people saying that, hey, it got rushed too early, doesn't follow the standard protocol of say four years of testing to work out the kinks. Um, there's issues when they gave out the vaccine that it was diluted and then expired uh, vaccine vials that have been given, which are pretty bad when you give it expired, uh, it can create complications. Now people are saying, oh, it's just a loss in uh, potency. It's a little more than just a loss in potency. It's a breakdown of the protein sequencing that goes into it. And thus your immune system doesn't quite really fight it just well and it could cause other complications. So I say take a more realistic point of view. Before taking the vaccine, if you choose to, talk to your doctor. Many people are kind of freaking out and saying there's ignorance in the minority community. Well, there's a big problem that people remember from the past. We read the past, we look to the past for guidance, so we do not repeat the past. The biggest problem with the whole vaccine to begin with is when they first started saying, hey, we need to give the vaccine to minorities first before all other people. And what's disturbing is for those who are of color or who are a minority, a lot of people rem remember hearing about or and even some people have lived through or remember the Tuskegee experiments in which they gave black men syphilis and the trauma from that has carried over now i not here to sit there and promote anything about this i'm not here to promote this but i really recommend that you get more than just a, a you know one opinion and to medical doctors um to those <laughs> pushing the vaccine and uh, please take a step back. Uh, remember, this is being put into someone's body. Uh, you know, you know as well as I know 
the real stuff. You, you can't lie to your patients. So that's all I have to say. Um, other than that, you know, that's all my topic on that. But please take care of one another, love one another, and don't be mean, all right? And if you're not going to take the vaccine, be safe.